ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Made in Japan. Today we're checking a game called Root Letter. This is as traditional, as traditional as stuff that I got into as I was growing up kind of game that came out of Japan. Back in the day, I read visual novel after visual novel constantly, just burning through every single one I could get my hands on that was released in English, which tends to be a little bit more of the risque stuff on occasion, but we're starting to see a proper push towards visual novels becoming a regular enough release within North America, at least if not probably in the EU in English. This one, Root Letter, has a bit of a fairly f familiar history with uh, PC fans, but has been released in Japan already on the PS4, which you're visually looking at right now. This is the demo that comes available on the Japanese PSN. The game is a basic visual novel mystery based around uh, the story of a character who lost touch with a pen pal 15 years previous and the the mystery surrounding their disappearance or murder or death or whatever it was. I'm not really kidding. I'm trying to avoid spoilers talking about this game, but their game's kind of based into two sides to it. An investigative mode where you question the people that were in part of her life and the other bit where you relive moments when you were in contact with each other and knew each other as younger students in school. Like all visual novels it does have branching pathways and a series of endings that relate to the choices you make along the way, the things that you discover and the people you communicate with. Either you solve the mystery, you do not solve the mystery, you reconnect with the character mattering on your choices. If you're a fan of the Telltale game series, you'll enjoy these because they are the precursor, the the reason why we have those walkathon games. The, this is actually maybe a lot of reading, a lot of listening, and, and some decision making, but is no more uh, annoying than, say, a hidden object game. I really recommend to check out this game whenever it gets released by P-Cube at some point this year. They still haven't announced the release date, so your guess is as good as mine's.私は人を殺してしまいました。私は辞めた方がいいと思ってたの。あんなことをやるべきじゃなかったんですよ。余計なことするから。いい加減にして。もう我慢の限界。さようなら。縁結びの国島根を舞台に。カドカワゲームスが送る青春サスペンス。海の綾は25年前に亡くなってるんだよ。そういう名前のクラスメートはいません。話せるようなことは何もないわ。どうして彼女のことを調べてるんだ。ごめんなさい。知らない人です。何を